you are wondering how to manage the big works, you know, the big ones, then you'll want to see how Joshua manages scripture in Obsidian, in what he calls biblical connected thinking. Joshua was born and raised in Germany, but is now working out of Sweden for a Christian nonprofit. In the last few years, his work has taken him to 15 countries, and in the last year alone, he has read over 50 books on a wide array of topics, relating them to scripture in a sprawling tapestry interweaving philosophy, technology, productivity, theology, and culture. In the following tour, Joshua shows us how he manages many of these various inputs in one master system. Let's view Joshua's presentation now. Yeah, so there we go. I believe you all should be able to, to see the screen now. Yeah, just a small framing about who I am. Um, I'm 22 years old. I'm from Germany, but living in Sweden right now. And I'm working with a Christian nonprofit um, that's focused on, on youth and young people and mobilizing them to volunteering in, in mission and um, like development projects in different cultures. So yeah, as a, as a part of my work and my interest, it's quite, quite broad, like it's a Christian nonprofit. So yeah, I'm thinking a lot about like scripture and the Bible, but less in a theological way and more in like a, a personal way of applying it. Um, and also on the implication of the thoughts in there on, on society on a greater scale. Um, yeah, and, and politics. So my personal knowledge management system is, yeah, it's a, it's a big bundle of a lot of different things and interests. And Nick was really flattering, but I think some of your guys' system are way, way more advanced than mine, but let's jump into it. So just recently, I started kind of reframing things a little bit and I introduced those tags of like seedling, budding and evergreen. Like I really like the garden metaphor when it comes to growing our ideas and thoughts. And I started taking just a couple of notes to kind of see in which stage they are at. And then looking at the index, I, I broke it down in a couple of different area. Um, I have a top of mind um, node with like kind of the quick paths to the notes that I use more most than I really like the the frame often I want to note because often I'm quite overwhelmed when I um, looking at all the different possibilities and this gives me some actionable things that I can I can actually do yeah and then recently I, I started introducing the idea of tending the garden like tending my mind garden and taking care of this collection and I feel like I have a lot of just notes that I might never find again because they're they're unlinked. Like we talked about these TK notes and they just created a, a safe search to, to find all of my TK notes. Um, then I pull them in here um, and I can see what is relevant and what I want to flesh out a little bit more. There's also this plugin to find unlinked files. So recently I noticed since when my collection grows and a lot of it is not so connected that I want to, want to take care and, and find those lost seeds and nuggets. Yeah, maybe a bit more on the I, I want to know it so yeah. yeah what I want to do like here another link to like tending the garden kind of that metaphor or growing materials we'll get to recipes later but a couple of, of different ways I could I could use my library and I like having actionable paths yeah then getting getting more into the meat of it this is like the growing ideas section so a lot of it for me is is about faith um is yeah about meditating on scripture and understanding the implications so yeah i have i have a couple of overview notes here a couple of big mocs like i pulled pulled the bible into obsidian yeah so in here i have all of the books of the bible can jump straight into one but also have an overview kind of on on each book and like big big impactful events that i can yeah link to in other ways yeah to, so just to show that like here's all of it um, pulled in and I can always navigate to the next chapter but also jump back to the overview note um, and then there here are a couple of of different MOCs on on different topics yeah both like more abstract but also quite practical thinking about I'm married uh, even being 22 thinking about marriage and, and living that out well a quick question for you Joshua yeah when you were in Genesis I was just curious how you were handling the the verses on the left hand side yes that's the, how you handled the categorization yeah so that's um that's just some some custom css and um, so these are all um oh. like heading six headers yeah i think thanks for jumping in there um, and to make reading a bit easier i yeah i pulled it to the side so if i was to create a new note um i could quite easily just reference 
um, a specific scripture and then put a word verse in um, and if I want to embed that I assume it's a bit in the way <laughs> yeah so what is great um, is also like jumping into into the backlinks here um, because then I have all of the references to to specific verses just in here when I pull up the the chapter yeah so thinking about like Genesis introducing the story this like ties in in it's quite foundational to understanding the text so uh, it ties into a lot of like different notes I have like talking about creation of course where I reference um, specific things and specific um, things that are recorded yeah but also like different like different teachings or sermons that I've heard is quite easily to reference and whenever I just come across um, reading the text or if I want to prepare a teaching I can go in there and see all of my backlinks and all of the thoughts that I already have on there. So it grows very organically and I, I love it about that. Um, yeah, then this is a book note, for example, um, where the author, author quoted a part um, and I have all of my things just in there. Yeah, I hope that made made sense so far. Do you um, mind if I ask a question on that? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Can you go back to where you're looking at the Bible and you had your notes on the right hand side? Yeah, so just like that, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Are you happy to actually show a note? I mean, I know you've got them all there on the right hand side. Yeah. Are you happy to show us a note that actually, so I could see the links back to the Bible there? Are you happy sure. to show one of those? Or it's okay if you're not. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, for example, like here, note I have on the creation narrative as a whole, in at the top, I, I have a link um, to just like jump into the start of it. Yeah, then there are like a couple of notes to other references um yeah i think like here on god is drawing joy from his labor that's where i referenced the specific verse but then like give it the, the different alias um also so i i know where where this is said actually okay i see how you've done that and how you've linked that to genesis on the side there however when you're reading genesis is there a way of actually going from Genesis to those notes. Yeah, so I think, I hope I understand you right, but yeah, that would be the backlinks here on the side. Yeah, so talking about like the note of the creation account that I just showed, um, here it shows me the backlink to- I see, I see. Um, God is drawing joy from his labor. God said it was good, yeah. Thanks very much. I think I've got it, what you're doing there. Yep, thank you. Yeah, cool, great. Uh, oh, yeah, thanks great. for jumping in. Yeah, in, in the forum, I like on the self, I, I, I posted like there's a thread on, on how people organize the Bible and there are a lot of great, great thoughts in there as well and the script to get all of this in here. Yeah, but but it's a constant way of figuring things out. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, for in, interest, um, Nick introduced this this way, like structuring it in different ways. And I like um, here that's an embedded Bible verse, so I like for kind of every every area that I'm interested in actually pulling in a scripture, and because I want the text to be quite central to my life, so I I, I want to see what um, what the Bible says about every aspect and make it very practical. Yeah, so in here are also a couple of different MOCs and notes. I'm not sure what of that is so specifically interesting right now. So yeah, and, and here's like kind of the last big one on, on knowledge management, again, with a Bible verse pulled in here and kind of talking about how, how I use that, um, how I do my tagging, which is quite like, I don't use a lot of tags. I like to pay, tag like outputs or things, writings uh, that I put out in the world and then input, which is kind of everything I, I receive in sources. Um, yeah, and, and most of my input I get, get from books. I don't have a lot of articles to go through and process. So, and for me, it's quite, yeah, very simple, just going for output and input, but for other people, the workflow might look very, very different. Yes. Cool. And <laughs> I see yeah. that you have a, you, you have a, a emojis on your tags. How, how do you do that? I mean, yeah. So yeah, I can just come to uh, to type them. How, how do you type them? So yeah, it's it's a bit cumbersome to like I couldn't pick a specific one here, but because I only have a handful of tags, um, they just show up at the top and got it. And that's how it. Yeah, thanks. 
yeah i i'm not so sure with the phrasing but like strengthening the worker kind of so this is more about like my personal growth i like the idea of a mission statement so like what's the personal creed what are the things that are important to me and i continue to add on to that yeah there's one moc on on the body or health which like there's not a lot in there and then one on on productivity on work and the opportunity uh, and the the importance of that um yeah and quite a bit of that is is also connected to yeah to to what the scripture says on on work so how work is blow, both um a blessing but can also be a temptation like yeah finding your your identity and so on and when we jump into one of those notes um oh yeah i like having the the origin to specific books that i read um in the notes when it works um but yeah talking specifically about how how broke is uh, uh, how work is broken and yeah how it can not be be good for us like a link to that would be to the tower of babel story which is also like connected to to the bible and in here i pulled a couple of different bible verses in in again um i could jump straight into the text there just to show yeah, different aspects yeah i think this i think this specific unit is about processing new new information right yeah that's so correct. Yeah. yeah that's correct yeah great yeah so for me that's and Nick, yeah, has way better stuff to share than me. But just how it how it looks like for me is is mostly mostly books. So I like with an iframe, like kind of putting in my Goodreads um, process, um, and then um, I process like books by by different tags. I classify them by genre, and kind of have two ways of doing it. Um, one is like formatting and writing an outline. So for example like first things first by um stephen Corby, like just pulling the kindle highlights in here um is quite yeah un unstructured so yeah i add the little tag to to outline it and then the next step would be to to process books so looking at at seven seven habits if i pull up the outline like here are things organized a bit more neatly by specific headers and topics and then the third step or like the second step to process it would go to th go through it and like scratch what is not relevant and make new notes out of out of things that um, i actually found find helpful um, so that's kind of how how i process books yeah i i like using using templates for different things so yeah i have like specific metadata for for books i put in the author the year published and then like when i read it and a month so i can compile that into the months um, and have a couple of of other templates on different inputs or outputs just to keep things um, standardized and i think like doing it right in obsidian the most straightforward way um is probably just like having if i have my book template here every time i create a new book note just um copying that um in there if you don't want to work with with templates or expanders but yeah you guys are going to get get more into that as a bit of a last fun thing um i started putting a couple of recipes in in obsidian yeah so i can browse that by um by tag um I take things by ingredient or or by recipe. So over here, just a couple of different um, ingredients. And let's say I have a lot of dried beans in my pantry. I can open that up, and I really like that I can straight in put some instructions on how to how to in that way um, prepare beans whenever I need that. Um, and I already put in like some some use cases, uh, nachos, for example. But yeah, I can also go into the backlink section and for yeah, whatever I use it, refried beans or tortillas or nachos, um, I can see that straight in, in there. And I think that's a really fun way to, to see whatever I want to come up with. Um, or I browse it by recipe um, and can see the, the couple ones that I that I put in there. And that's yeah, mostly just copy and paste from the website wherever I find it. Yeah, I think this is like a broad overview. Um, I could go into 
into much, much more detail. I also do, do journaling um, in there for some self-reflection, but hopefully that gives a couple of ideas on, on what it could look like. Um, and you pick out the things that work for you. I don't have a, a template for, for journaling. So it's really just like flow of consciousness um, writing out um, writing out my thoughts. But I do like to, to compile um, all of these individual daily notes I have into, let's see if I have a good example, like first into weekly notes, like weekly journals, um, kind of summarizing what the week was like, and then um, pulling that together into a monthly note. Yeah, so this is yeah, just like from a script generated like a, a calendar overview where I can see where I've journals on on which on each month and then I like putting into like look back on the month, write a couple of paragraphs on what happened. I ended up with Corona that month. I'm I'm healthy now, so that's great, but that'll be great to look back to. And I have yeah, my my journals in here. And yeah, I don't journal every day, like it really wasn't a lot. Yeah, and then also what I what I read this month, or what kind of of gatherings or conferences I was I was a part of. Um, yeah, and then looking back on the year, I can kind of see what what happened each month. Well, this is yeah, this is great. So at this point, let's uh, send off Joshua. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into Joshua's setup. Do you want to figure out how to manage the Bible or other big works for yourself? Well, Joshua has gone two steps further and provided both an online Bible study kit along with all the files for immediate download. Hey, if you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Subscribe, share it with a friend, like, and comment. And until next time, stay connected.